Hi everyone, I'm Delaney. And I'm Kitty. And today we're going to be presenting the second part of day five, which is on extensions. So we're going to jump right into music. Um, now some of you might play an instrument or take music classes. Um, and what you might know is that music is meant to sound good. It uses multiple instruments and notes to perform a masterpiece. Uh, well, Scratch allows you to make your own music, and they allow you to choose between different instruments and different notes. So first we'll go over some basic musical concepts for those of you who might not have taken a music class. Um, we, first we have beats, which is a way to measure how long each note lasts. For an example, a note that is two beats long takes up twice as much time as a note that is one beat long, and a note that is one beat long takes up twice as much time as a note that is half a beat long. We also have tempo, which basically describes how fast the music is going. A higher tempo means that the music is going faster, and a lower tempo means that the music is going slower. Another way to think about tempo is that it's how fast a single beat lasts, or how many beats are in a minute. So the first block we have is playing the drums. Uh, there are 18 different types of drums, or different types of instruments, and each drum has a unique sound. Uh, you also are able to choose the amount of time the drum beat lasts um, by choosing uh, the number of beats. So we'll head over to Scratch. And make sure you have your music extension added. If not, go down to the bottom left-hand corner and add the extension. So first we'll drag over the play drum block. As you can see, we have multiple drums to pick from. We'll choose this one. And we can also choose how long it lasts. Right now it's a quarter of a beat. And so when we play it, it sounds like this. And there you go. Next, we have the rest block which uh, is similar to the wait block, except instead of postponing the code, it postpones the music. So we'll go over to Scratch and add a rest block, and then add another drum. So it waited for a quarter of a beat between both of these drums. Next, we have the set instrument block. You can think of instrument as another variable. Um, when you use the set instrument block, it does not play the instrument. Uh, you'll have to use a play note block for that, which we'll go over in a minute. There are 21 different types of instruments and each have completely different sounds. So we'll head back over to Scratch, clear our workspace, and then choose the set instrument block. Instead of piano, we'll try a flute and we'll go ahead and run it even though uh, music uh, was not played we still just set the instrument so in order to play music we have to use the play note block again you're given the amount of time that the note will last in beats um, and you can and it will play the instrument uh, that you've previously chosen even though a piano always shows up on the screen, it might not sound like the piano. The piano is just there to help you pick out your notes. And we'll go over an example. So back to scratch, and we'll choose the play note block. Again, we can choose how long it lasts in beats, and then we'll choose the note. We'll choose this one. So even though it is a flute, the piano is still there to help us pick out our notes. And then we'll go ahead and run it. You see, it sounds like a flute. Next, we have tempo. Uh, think of that as another variable. And it just, again, describes how fast the, um, the music is going. So we'll head back over to Scratch. And in order to see tempo, make sure you have the uh, tempo checkbox checked at the bottom of the music tab. Right now, our tempo is 70. Um, meaning that it's a pretty fast tempo. So, um, like with most variables, we have the option to change or set the tempo. So we'll head back over to Scratch and set our tempo to 60. 
make sure you have it at the beginning so that everything afterwards is affected by that. And then we'll go ahead and run it. See, if you notice, that lasted a, light, a little bit longer than the previous trials because the tempo was slower, meaning the beats lasted longer. We can also change our tempo and increase or decrease its value based on the number you put in here. So we'll head back over to Scratch. We can set the tempo to 60, but then let's change it by 20, meaning we're going to add, the add 20 to the current tempo, and then play another note. If you notice, the second note um, lasted uh, lasted a shorter amount of time than the first note because the tempo had increased. And that's it for, temp uh, for music blocks. Now we'll move on to translate. Awesome. Nice job, Delaney. Okay, so now we're going to get into the translate extension. So this extension, I mean, I guess I should first ask, how many of you speak a language at home? I do. Well, other than English, but I speak Japanese and English at home. And so the translate block can come in handy when you want to translate words to a different language. So, uh, so there's this block that we have that says translate, hello, or whatever text you like to, and then you pick your language. It takes the first words in these blocks and translates it to the language that is specified in the second box. There's also the variable uh, checkbox that will show you the current language. So we're in Scratch. Uh, so yeah, let's turn on the language block. Currently the language is in English. So let's go to looks and make our sprite say hello. But I want to say hello in a different language. So we'll go back to translate and we'll drag this into the hello box. And we're going to change the language to um, Japanese. So this should, should bleh, this sh should say konnichiwa. Let's see. Konnichiwa. Correct. So this is a really cool thing if you wanna uh, be able to get your sprite to speak a different language, but you don't exactly know how to say it. So this can translate it for you. But here, what if you want to hear the language out loud? This is where we get into the speak or text to speech extension. So what is text to speech? So this is essentially where the application is talking to you. So you're gonna need to turn on your sound, otherwise you won't be able to hear it. It'll say your text out loud as a part of the program and punctuation will not matter. So you will not get uh, the computer yelling at you if you put a bunch of exclamation points. Sorry. So we're gonna drag over uh, after adding the extension, speak hello. Hello. So, yeah, it just sounds like a regular hello. So, what if we wanted to change how the voice sounded? Well, this is where we can do the set voice to block. And it has a variety of options, five actually. Alto being a female voice. So let's drag this over and give it a try. So alto is what we just heard. Hello. Hello. Tenor is a male voice. Hello. Hello. Squeak is a more high-pitched girly voice. Hello. And then the giant is a deeper, large voice. Hello. <laughs> And my personal favorite kitten is going to just say meow. Meow. Exactly. So you can play around with this and get it to say a whole bunch of different things. But what if we want to change the language of what they were saying? So the set language to option will change the language. It also changes the accent of the speaker and it can read different languages in different texts. So let's try set the language to French. 
and change yeah. the voice out of kitten. Mm -hmm. So. Hello. So it's like a French person saying hello. But what if we wanted to change the language that they're speaking to French? And you didn't know how to say that. So this is where the translate block can also come in handy. You can drag that in there and say hello, but change that to French. This is going to say bonjour. So that's how you say hello in French. Pretty cool, huh? But something you need to be careful of is that when you're changing the language, you don't want to set the language to like English and have it read or try to have it read like Chinese or Japanese characters. You want to be sure that it is uh, if you're trying to read or get to say like a Chinese or a Japanese character or something that isn't in the alphabet, you're going to need to match it up to that language. Um, but usually that won't happen for most people because most of our keyboards are in English in the alphabet. So if we want to also show the text on the screen of what we're saying, we can go to the looks block and grab say hello and we can uh, grab another translate block and put it in there and have it say hello in french and when we run that if you look at our little sprite bonjour sprite said bonjour so if you want to be able to say that and say it aloud that's a cool thing that you could do but yeah have fun with this and play around with it super cool extensions and we hope you guys have fun with it.